So every day I've been walking by this mall um, on my way to the courts and you can see that's the subway right there and this exhibit looks really really cool. I couldn't see much from the outside so uh, today I bought a ticket and I went in and uh, this is basically it. <laughs> it's just a room with UV painting and lighting and uh, I'll show you this other weird thing. Well, back to badminton. Okay, so here I am on the fourth day of the tournament, my third day and also my last day. I can't be here. I have to go back to Shaman tomorrow, so I can't be here to watch the finals. But um, I actually think it's okay because yesterday was the quarterfinals and not only was there a lot more spectators, but there was a lot more press and it was a bit more difficult for me to talk to the players afterwards. So I feel like the finals is gonna be like a ton of press and I probably won't have a chance to talk to anyone. It should still be a good day. Let's head on inside. Today, now there's only one court right in the middle. It went from four courts to one court. There is also really a heightened level of, um, I don't want to say professionalism, it's always been professional, but I think it just feels a bit more heightened. You know, there's heightened security. The other days feel like summer camp and this is like Broadway or something. Also, I've been sitting in the same seats the whole time, but the seats next to me have changed. The first day it was players, so I talked to a bunch of players. The second day it was VIP, which seemed to be like family of the players, and today it's V VIP. I don't know where those peasant VIP people will sit, but they are not sitting here. Only the V VIP. A lot more pomp and circumstance coming out onto the field too. And also there's like a ton of line judges. I guess they were spread out between several courts, but now they're all just focused on the one. I mean, maybe, maybe you already know all this stuff, but I don't really pay attention to it when I watch um, professional games. I just kind of like watch the playing. So it's interesting for me. Oh, well, there's my friend. He's stringing on the side of the courts. A lot of pressure to be stringing where, when the game's going on. Also, on the other days, there was a lot more light and a lot more noise because there were several games going on, so people were cheering and stuff. This is really different. Like, it gets really quiet when they're doing a rally, and all the lights are turned off except for the center court. So it feels very, um, I don't know, it feels like a ultrasound room. It feels very, like, quiet and lulling back here. With the courts being so quiet, that heartbeat that they play during a challenge is like super creepy. <laughs> female Korean player. She's translating, but she's translating like Cantonese to Korean, so I got nothing. or things because you've been playing a lot every day and obviously every game is very hard because your opponents are very strong women. So do you have any routines to help you relax quickly yeah. to get ready for tomorrow's yeah, game? Yeah, the most the most thing is like we have to take care of ourselves yeah. after the game, like change the court and did not get seen easier because the badminton tournament is always continue. Yeah, you yeah, don't have time to rest yeah. recently. And yeah. we have to eat well yeah. and sometimes 
you don't need to like on diet or or what for me i eat what i like is uh sweet thing yeah yeah i just eat but like we have to know ourselves what the limit of ourselves if we feel like yeah we getting fat we have to stop like that so like today will you pay more to attention to your nutrition because tomorrow's like the final yeah. so you want to okay but maybe two days ago you could have some more sweets yeah and enjoy even, yourself even maybe if after the after like now yeah I also have some sweets. Sweets. yeah <laughs> nice. yeah because uh the competition is not we don't have to like mentor it like serious yeah. about the food we ca can eat what we want but we know yeah, what you know your limit. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you have something good to eat today. Yeah. You know, good luck tomorrow. Uh, thank awesome. you. I think these are badminton fans waiting outside the uh, exit where the players will go because their hotel is right next door. So, smart move, guys. Saturday night party. Definitely more crowded. There's a big line to get into the little Yannick store. Glad I bought my shirts early. I want to play badminton. Continue. Yeah. yeah, it's for fun. Just for so, fun. So, yeah, um, everyone love badminton. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I love that. I could tell you love badminton. So. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Well, so that's it. <laughs> that was it. I'm gonna go home. Oh man, I feel like I really flubbed that last opportunity to talk to Tai Chi Yin. But I was just so shocked. And the, uh, the interview area was quite far away from where I was sitting. The media area seats are. So like me and this other guy, Sean, we just, she said she was withdrawing and then we just ran as fast as we could. So like, I didn't even have time to set up my tripod and get my camera ready. And I just, the only question was obviously why, why did you, why did you withdraw? But, uh, so I had no question and she even looked at me and I just said, well, may jump bay. Like I didn't prepare. <laughs> Clearly the difference between a professional reporter and someone like me. I just was totally shocked. It's like 10.30, but the games are still going on. But you know, it's been three days. I'm quite exhausted and I'm leaving very early tomorrow morning. So I had to say goodbye to everyone and leave the Yannick Sunrise Hong Kong Open 2018. 
Um, I don't know. To be honest, I've shot a lot of video and I haven't really watched much of it. Um, so I'm really nervous about uh, what did I say or what did I not say. And it'll be a little painful for me to go through some of these videos. But I had an amazing time and I hope the athletes had fun talking to me. I tried to ask them different questions. I think questions like, how do you feel? How was the game? I think those are really boring questions. So I tried to come up with more creative and interesting questions and hopefully get some new answers about them. So I hope you have enjoyed my videos. I just had so much fun and this was like really, really like a dream come true to not only see the athletes, but to be able to talk to them and get to know them a little bit. It was really amazing. But I will say, that even though like this was so amazing and even though I love all the professional athletes like I love badminton I love playing badminton <laughs> and while of course the pros are a big part of badminton and they're very inspiring and everything ultimately um, I do want to play badminton and I've been here for four days so I've gone four days without playing badminton so I'm quite eager to get back and play again great time great time